so let it, it is. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, if you think you're spiritually evolved, go spend a week with your family. <laughs> you're not. You're not. Because our family, that's true, right? They push our buttons like crazy. I remember going home and taking Mark and Noah for, um, like, it was, I think it was like Thanksgiving or something. I don't know. It was a holiday. Everybody was there, basically. And I have two older sisters and, and just a whole bunch of people. And I remember, like, something was said at the table that made me want to, like, crawl under it and hide. And I was like, hey, it was my oldest sister. I'm like, hey, please, like, don't use that. Like, don't say that because we, we have little ears. You know, I was pointing out, like, we got little little ears at the table. And she was like, oh, I'm going to yell it. And she starts like, yeah. And it, guys, it's, like, so inappropriate. Like, even for a 30-year-old, it's inappropriate because I'm 30. <laughs> and <laughs> Okay, one. Three, one. Um, so she, like, yells it. And, and I, you know, hey, I'm, I like to think I, I can, like, handle it with grace. And I can be like, wow, that's really inappropriate. You shouldn't do that. Let's meditate at the table. <laughs> uh-uh. It's not the way that went down. <laughs> it's not the way that went down at all. She yells, I am a runner. That's my strategy I've developed with my family. Like, how far and how fast? So I push my chair back. Poor Mark is just sitting there like, hmm. I push my chair back from the table. I'm like, fine. I'm not going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and I like, stomp upstairs. I think Mark and, you know, his little boy, they're just eating. And like, <laughs> <laughs> Ugly, guys, it was ugly. And and I'd like to say this was a really long time ago. It was in the last like two years, year and a half. So so then like I go upstairs and I'm like climb in and get myself together and I'm, and I'm like this is gonna be fine. <sighs> so I like pull myself together, I'm like, okay, okay. Go back downstairs and she's about to leave, my sister, right? And and I'd like to say I looked up, but I looked down because she's really short. <laughs> and and round. So I look down and around at her, and I'm like, <laughs> and I say, okay, so I'm really sorry about earlier. I'm really sorry that, that that felt like that, right? And so when we reach out with our heart, what do we expect? The same. The same. I expected her to go, it's okay, me too. Sorry, too. Instead. Instead, it was, thanks. <laughs> she like, grabbed her turkey and walked out the door. Now, <laughs> it probably was like deviled eggs, because I think that's what she made and brought. You know, something stinky. <laughs> so I love her. So, um, so, so it's that. Like our family can really set us off because we get right back into that root way of being, the defense mechanisms that we came up with. Like they are right there. I know for me, like my family is from Georgia, like South Georgia. We moved every year. but So you name a place in Georgia, I bet you I've lived there. And my dad's been fired from there. Um, he was a football coach. So if you didn't win, then you got tossed out. So... When I'm there, I will talk. I will talk Southern. I don't mean to, but it just like whoa. And Mark will look at me and be like, "Wow!" <laughs> and every once in a while, I'm like, "Wow, that was really Southern." I worked so hard to lose it, and then it just like bloop all pours out. So, so our family will always challenge our beliefs, right? And when we really start to believe something different, they will most likely think we've lost our minds. They will accuse us of being crazy. They, I mean, all sorts of things. I remember when I was like. Forget this life. I'm packing up. I'm going elsewhere. And my dad was like, that's great. Um, my mom was like, no, go to L.A. <laughs> that's where I want to be. Um, so, so they'll try to, like, mold us into where they want like, and have us stay, right, because they don't want to have to change. When we change, they have to change. They have to. They can't remain the same. They can't. So, so then what happened is as I was traveling, I would call home, and then my mom would say, when are you when are you coming back? We want you to come home. I got tired of that after about four months, so I was like, not calling again. Didn't call again. Didn't call for a really long time actually. And plus I was sick, so it didn't really matter. Did it? <laughs> they didn't care. No, I'm kidding. So then when I when I got to Bali and I would actually Skype them because I had come into enough of myself to be able to hold my own space and say, I don't I don't want to come home yet, I'm not ready. Um, I remember my mom's question was which makes me laugh to this day. If you knew my mom, it would make you laugh too. Her question was, do you remember Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> right? My mom who refused to go to church for years because God had disappointed her, right? Do you remember Jesus? 
I was like, actually, yeah, I was meditating and he came in yesterday. We had a good conversation. I didn't say that because that would have been way too smart Alec for my mom. But, but I just said, yeah. And I changed the topic because what do you do with that, you know? So it was that idea of like when we start to really change and our beliefs start to change and how we feel about the world and how we expect the world to sort of return to us, people get afraid. They get really afraid. Now, once I got back home, my mom and my dad both said, this has been the best thing you've ever done for yourself. My family has started changing.